Congratulations again to Joel. Obviously, tweeting was the easy part of that contest. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the second phase of the Wrangler Islander competition, all that you need to do is simply, you guessed it, go on their website. Now, as a side note, the Auto 123 Show will be holding our very own contest in the near future, and it will be accessible exclusively through our Facebook fan page. So if you're not already a fan, that's exactly what you should be doing right after this episode. I also invite for you to join me there for a little chat about this next trend that Matt's going to bring us more details about regarding the Hyundai Sonata. Here he is with more. Hyundai is an automaker that is making some serious headlines right now, and one of the reasons for that is the car right behind me and that is the 2011 Sonata. If you take a quick look at the car, you'll notice that it really doesn't look anything like the previous car. Now the new car, very different. The lines are much more dynamic. You can see some of the chrome accents, there's some nice, unique wheels on the car, the wheel exhaust depending on the model. It really is a much, much better looking car. Another thing that they did for the new Sonata is eliminate something. For this car, there are no more V6 options. The initial engine offered with the car is a 2.4 liter four cylinder engine that puts out 198 horsepower. In order to cater to almost everyone, they're offering two new other very distinct versions. One of them is the 2.0T or the two liter turbocharged. The other one is the hybrid, the all important hybrid, their first ever in North America. This car also has a four cylinder engine, puts out 209 horsepower, which in its category amongst its competitors is the most powerful. And there's another very distinct difference here is that you'll get a six speed automatic transmission compared to the CVT. So going back to the other end of the spectrum, you get the performance version, which is the 2.0T. It is equipped with a four cylinder, two liter, turbocharged engine that puts out 274 horsepower and 269 pound-feet of torque. So this is right up there in the range with your average V6 that you can get in one of these mid-sized cars. But there is a very important key factor here. That four-cylinder engine will not consume anywhere near as much fuel as one of those average V6s. So you get the performance and the fuel economy. And like anyone else, I love saving money when I get to the pump.